Hello everyone, welcome to all to the YouTube channel of Developers and Coders Club of NIT Agarwal. Today we are going to discuss the problem from the lead course weekly weekly round. The problem is the problem closest prime numbers in a range. So in this problem, you are given two positive integers left and right, and you have to find the two numbers num one and num two such that the num one and num two is uh, between the left and right. Values and num one and num two both are prime, and the uh, num two minus num one is the minimum among guest all the pairs present between them. You have to uh, return a positive array consist answer which consists of number one, num one, and num two. If there are multiple pairs exist, return the one with the minimum num one values or uh, minus one minus one. If no Such pairs exist, and the number greater than one is called prime if and only if one is divisible by one itself. So I know uh, we know that the prime number is a number which is uh, which having only uh, two factors one and its uh, and one and it is itself. So uh, let's I have a range of uh, L. From one to uh, L to R, which consists of one to thirteen numbers. So let's uh, first compute the prime numbers between them. So the prime number is two uh, is a prime number because two is having uh, only two factors one and two itself, and three is also a prime number because three is also having one and three as its prime number factors, and four having two is uh, two as a prime factor, so four cannot be a prime number. Five is also a prime number. Six can't be a prime number. Seven is also a prime number. Nine is uh, not a prime number because three is a factor of nine, and one and nine itself. So there are more than two factors. So uh, nine is also not a prime number. Eleven is a prime number. Twelve is not a prime number, and thirteen is a prime number. So in the range between L to R, we have to find two numbers. Two numbers. One and two. As a Result, uh, which having the minimum difference, right? And if no such pair exists between the uh, range L to R, we have to return minus one. We have to just simply return minus one, right? So let's uh, see the answer in this case. So here two, three, five, six, seven, eleven, and thirteen. So we know that the num one and num two are consecutive, means the consecutive prime numbers, because the minimum uh, difference between two numbers is possible when they are uh, consecutively occur. So here we having two and three as consecutive num one and num two. So two and three may be a possible answer, and also three and five is consecutive prime numbers. So three and five is also a Possible answer, so also can be a possible answer. And here five and seven, five and seven is also possible answer. And uh, here seven and eleven is also possible answer. Seven and eleven is also possible answer, right? And eleven and thirteen is also possible answer. So these are the pairs between one to thirteen, the number of the prime numbers, and we are written in this up uh, all the possible, all of them. Uh, so let's compute the minimum of them, which difference is minimum. So this, so two and three having difference one, two and three having difference one, five and two having difference two, five and three having difference two, five and seven having difference two, seven and eleven having difference four. And eleven and twelve, thirteen having difference two. So the minimum difference having uh, the elements are two and three. So in this case, we only, we just have to return two and three, right? So we just check the all the prime numbers and form the pairs uh, like that. Form the pairs and consecutive pairs and make the difference minimum. So the the first Occurrence of a pair which having the minimum difference is uh, we just have to return. So this is a very standard problem. We just have to uh, count the prime numbers. But the main 
tweak in this problem is that we have to uh, count we have to count the prime numbers in a given range l to r efficiently if we are trying to um, uh, trying to compute the prime numbers between l to r in a in a brute force manner then when we what can we do like from 1 to uh, take, uh, let us take from 1 to 1000 we have to compute the prime numbers so but for uh, all the numbers between 1 to 1000 we have to check for every number all its uh, all its divisors so uh, we have to check for every number divisors and then we can uh, only say that this is a prime number so we in this question we can't use this approach to compute the prime numbers because uh, this will exceed the time limit so we can uh, so we have to compute the prime numbers in a uh, in efficient manner so for this we are using the sieves of Aristonesis theorem sieve of Aristonesis which is which is a efficient way to compute prime numbers in a given range or of a and check whether a number is prime or not so let's see the solution part for this in this i write a sieve of restonesis function which will help you to understand uh, how the sieve of restonesis work so i hope the problem is clear to you all how we are going to compute the minimum uh, how we are going to compute the pair having the minimum difference of prime numbers in a range from l to r i shown you from for 1 and 13 so let's see the code for that so yeah so uh, i just make a integer array which having which is global which can be accessed from any function in the class and i write a c function which compute the which compute the prime numbers so here i have given a range from 1 to uh, 10 raised to the power 6 so this is a uh, quite uh, less range we can pre-compute the prime numbers and just use the them in the later part of the solution so first i uh, write a c function which counts the prime numbers between 1 to 10 raised to the power 16 so for that i just run a loop uh, so let's see how the c function works c for restoration theorem works so for that i just uh, uh, just increment the values from 0 to from 0 to the 10 to the power 6 and uh, store all the indices as a value 1 between them and I know that 0 and 1 are not included in the prime numbers so that's why I uh, make them 0 and all are other are 1 initially all uh, we are making all as a prime and now we are we are uh, running a uh, running a loop from 2 to 10 raised, 10 raised to the power 3 means 1000 why we are doing this so because i know uh, in the later part we are uh, running a nested loop in which i have to go only till 10 raised to the power 6 so if i take 10 raised to the power 3 then we can uh, simply go till 10 raised to the power 6 so uh, first i run a loop from 2 to 10 raised to the power 3 and check whether if uh, the array element 1 is uh, index i having the value 1 then we simply come inside this loop and in this we check from from j equals to i till the size of 10 to the power 6 and increment j as well and here i uh, go inside this um, array and in the index part i write, write i into j so why i write i into j a tweak in that the sieve of restonesis theorem said said that uh, uh, if the uh, index part is a multiple of means what is uh, this i into j this is a number and this the number is not prime because it is a multiple of i and j right so there are two factors of this number so i just simply make this number as zero right and i check for every number and i make i found all the prime numbers as value one in the indices so i basically using using a hashing 
in which the indices stores as the number and zero state that that uh, they are not prime and one state that they are prime so i hope you will clear this and if not then you can search for sieve restonesis uh, theorem and you can uh, clear it right so in the question we have to return a vector which uh, having the left and the right uh the num1 and num2 so i have given the left and right in the question i call the sieve theorem which pre computes all the uh, prime numbers between 1 to 10 to the power 6 so initially i make the first and the last as 0 and 10 to the power 8 and initially i make the minimum as 10 to the power 6 and i create an answer which we have to return of size 2 in the first we uh, in the first uh, loop i just i trade through uh, left to right till i not find found any prime number if i found any prime number between them of uh, value having one i just store it in the first and break the loop and in the second loop i just run through the first plus 1 to till uh, the right and i just increment one by one and check if the this number is prime i make the last value as the given number and check whether the last minus first is uh, uh, last minus first is less than the minimum value uh, till now i have and then if i have the minimum i have the last minus first is less than the minimum value i just store the them as answers uh, of index 0 as first and index 1 as last and make the minimum as last minus first this is a basic standard approach of uh, checking with uh, checking for the minimum value in a array this is a standard approach and now i make the first at last because i am taking the previous index right and finally if i i initialize a minimum with 10 to the power 6 and if finally i found that the minimum is not means the array having there are many regions so if the uh, minimum is 10 to the power 6 then i know that the there should be no prime numbers or there should be only one prime number between this range so in this case i just return minus 1 and minus 1 in both the this uh, is 0 and 1 and if not then i just return the answer which having the first and the last value of the of the minimum nums which having the least difference so i hope this problem should be clear to you all so let's uh, quickly submit this and check whether it is works or not so this is accepted so i hope this is problem should be clear to you all and at last i want to say uh, if you don't understand the c function here you can google it and check for the c from c over the nessus theorem it is very important to computing the prime numbers in a range or of a large number right so thank you for thank you